at the Scoop um, in central London by the Thames and we're celebrating the Walk in Her Shoes initiative which is on International Women's Day and it's linking up women here with um, conditions and of women in developing countries. Deeds not words! It's been a lovely, lovely morning and it's, it's very heartwarming that so many women, so many busy women came along and of course all the women dressed as suffragettes, they really make it look picturesque. Well I'd say we have the power, we have the power which uh, many people in the past didn't have as women and I think it's really, really important that even if we don't feel strongly of any, about any particular party that we go out and vote and show and demonstrate that power and actually I personally think that as women we should try and be pushing for better representation better policies, better practice on gender issues. So please, please go out and vote. It's really important. And even if you're not too sure which party, go and vote and vote in women, if nothing else. I'm here because it's International Women's Day and what better way to celebrate it than to be with some incredible women, to remember uh, some absolutely vital women that are, part, that are still part of our lives, the suffragettes, and, and also to think about women all over the planet. When I was little, I always used to go with my parents um, and I'd go with them in the ballot box and they'd let me tick their box for them um, and so it was like a family thing, me and my brother would go, we did it every year, I don't think there's a single year that I've not gone and done that, so it's just continuing, yeah, I'm so excited for it. I know that it's hard to connect with politics because it is hard and I think that you have to break it down into thinking about how it affects your everyday life and whenever I think about politics I think about how much it makes me feel emotionally so if you worry about things like debt or further education or stuff that's part of every day and your well-being, then you are somehow connected to the decisions being made in, in a kind of a bigger, a, bigger, a bigger picture sense. So I would say use your vote, use your voice and try and change things for yourself and everyone that you love around you because it, it's important. Once you become involved in a little way, you realise the power of it and do more and do so more and more. So the registration is the first, it's a critical step, but it's only the first step. You have to make sure that you are being represented because when, when you read about what the suffragettes went through, how they actually, some women lost their lives in the, the whole cause to vote for women. And it isn't just about a vote. I mean, the suffragettes changed life for women. I just think it's really important to have some sort of breakdown for everyone so that we can all understand how how much politics affects us every day and I think whether that comes via the form of a celebrity or a pop star or a Twitter campaign, that can't, can't be anything but good. No vote, no voice. Those initial women changed our world and I, I think it's very important we've still got to keep on voting, still got to keep on taking an interest. I think it's very important that, that all young people realise that they are part of this country, they need to actually make their feelings heard. No vote, no voice. A lot of students are really excited and really happy to vote and vote for free and actually change things rather than vote on a on a TV show. There are a lot of people who are disengaged but then they want to come to things like this and I think those people really need to think about what they're doing and what they're missing out on. No vote, no voice. I think what we have here is a bubbling of lots of individual dynamic women, all of whom are making a change in their specific areas. So it might be as a, a film director, we've got Sarah Gavron here who's directing the Suffragette film, it might be as a singer, it might be as a presenter, it doesn't really matter but what we have is amazing women and I think by seeing how powerful they are, how much change they've brought about in the world, it gives us courage to also make a difference in our areas. No vote, no voice. No vote, no voice.